Today we are going to create this smoke effect in Photoshop. You will first need a smoky background like the one I have here. I found this particular image by doing a quick google search but I will leave a link to it in the video description. We will begin by creating a new text layer. I am using the font Myriad Pro but you can use any font that works for you. I want my text to cover a good portion of the image like so. We will then create a new layer by clicking this icon or using the shortcut Control shift n Command shift n on the Mac. We're going to fill this new layer with black using the paint bucket tool. Okay, so now we are going to right click on this new solid layer. While holding the shift key, we are going to click on our text layer. This will select both of these layers. Right click and select convert to smart object. We can no longer see our smoke layer because the solid black layer above it is covering it. So let's go ahead and blend these two layers. I'm going to go with the color dodge option. You can always change this later and you can play around with the different blend modes to see what works best for your image. Select this text layer and come up to filter, blur, motion blur. I'll leave the angle at zero since I want the blur to be horizontally. And we just want to blur this a little. That looks good. We're going to blend this further to give it that smoky look. With our text layer selected, we are going to go up to filter, blur, Gaussian blur. You can blur this to your liking, but 30 pixels seems to work fine. Okay, it's looking a little flat now, just like regular text. Make it a little bit more wavy so it's more like smoke. Let's go up to filter, distort, wave. We can randomize this or play around with the sliders until we reach the desired effect. Okay, click OK and done. You can experiment with different blend modes like I said. Try out different backgrounds, different texts, just get creative. Good luck and thanks for watching.